Hello my other funsters and welcome to part 21 of Zelda Twilight Princess Casual Let's Play. My name is Mala. Welcome to the new webcam, at least for the intro. In the previous uh, part we completed the Water Temple uh, and we um, got a pretty large expositional dump and uh, Midna was injured. So now we're going to try and save Midna and find a way that we can uh, escape from wolf form and turn back into a human. So uh, last time Midna got hurt by Zan, by the, um, the the light spirit of the Lanayru province, whose name I think actually is Lanayru, isn't it? And now we get to listen to this awesome music, Midna's Lament. I love this music. Oh, Midna. Right, let's go, shall we? I hate the fact that the... Um, Sound the the um, enemy sound kind of intersects the uh, the lament. It kind of ruins it a bit. Bit of a shame, but it's okay. Can't see my screen though. Right. that's a bit better. The uh, sun is uh, shining through the window, and these uh, curtains are crap. Sort of thin curtains. They don't really stop uh, the light from coming in. They're a far cry from the ones that we have in our bedroom. Our bedroom ones are like proper, like, blackout curtains. They're really good. They're quite expensive though. Whereas these uh, these curtains that we have up here are like cheap. I think we bought them in somewhere like the range or something for like really cheap. Hey look, there's uh, there's a wolf there. We can uh, we can get a new. Um, sword ability uh, from that, but only when we're a human. We're kind of stuck in wolf form at the moment. Zant put a bit of twilight and um, put the to a bit of piece of the twilight or something into my head. I just hate the rain. I can't get comfortable whether I sit or stand. Maybe my sixth sense is trying to tell me something. Like so, cause. They can all actually see me like this time. They couldn't see me last time, uh, the humans, because we were in twilight. But we're not in twilight anymore, so they see a wolf with some sort of, like, crazy hermit on its back. <laughs> I haven't seen your face around here before. If you want to know about this town, then you should ask Louise Telma's cat. Oh, Telma's cat's cool. You're also, you look so stern with that look on your face. You'll frighten the humans. I'm a wolf, of course I'll frighten the humans. What on earth would you expect? And they're all screaming. <laughs> ah, wolf! Ah, wolf! And the door is open. But if we go in, obviously, they're just going to see a wolf and be like, Get out of here! Beast, get out! <laughs> obviously. And they somehow kick me out and shut the door. I can't get back in because you know a wolf can't really work a knob. You there! I love this cat. <laughs> Such a posh cat. You're Mela, correct? Why, yes, I am. Hmm. Yes, I thought so. I could just tell you know. I'm Louise! <laughs> Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear? I, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Bit rude. Oh, another patient. You certainly are a curious sort. Please. Princess Zelda. Help us out, kitty. This way. Go on, do it. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle waterway. It's an old waterway though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is to make sure that the humans don't notice you. Such a posh cat. 
Thanks, dude. Right, uh, we need to push this, I think. Is this right? Yeah, this is right. Right. And then we get to go and see Princess Zelda again, I guess. Happy days! Yay! So, I never quite got this because, like, we're on a massive wolf, right? Even if you're pacing up and down in there, like, he has got to be able to see me in his peripheral, <laughs> surely. <laughs> like, oh my god, there's a roof, a wolf on the roof. I think you can actually knock these off and get seen. I'm gonna try not to. Right. There we go. I love Midna's Men. I'm really like a bit loath to talk over it. Such a brilliant song. Right, so here we get a new mechanic. The Poe. Da 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 da. You got Poe's soul. Collect one from each Poe you defeat. And then what it should do, this guy's been turned to gold. Oh, thank you for beating the dot ghost. Can I call you Doji? <laughs> I am Giovanni. I, I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Gengle is frozen in my head. I don't think on my head, sorry. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask a favour, Doji. Can you find and defeat the twenty ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now. I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging out around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, Doji? Doji. <laughs> okay, let go. <laughs> So we can't go out in the rain, but he's happy to let us get wet here. Okay. Fine. So where are we now? In the sewers. The water looks terribly clean. Um. There we go. That was fun. around any any secrets nah we do have a horrible spider though all right fine of course we can't be because that needs midnight there we go is it dead it's dead there's another one though hey nice okay we got it first time that time right now we need Fire, basically. See, there we are. I don't think. Oh, we need to keep the fire, do we? I love the music. It's a shame this is the only part of the game that, the, uh, that this music plays. Mind you, Morton, it's normally the best music that's played the least in these games because my favourite song um, in um, Ocarina of Time is the song that plays when the door of time is opening, literally, what, five seconds, that clip is. And it's played once in the whole game, and it's the best track of the whole game. In my opinion, at least. That and the, um, the song that plays when you um, when you get a, um, one of the, um, what they call the spiritual stones. It's only played like three times in the whole game, it's the best song. Right, what, why is nothing happening? Oh, I see where we're supposed to go. 
up here. And then what? Is that a bad guy? Yeah, it is. Get up! So I can knock you back down. <laughs> uh, do we need flames? I'm not sure. Ooh! Money! Oh, we're full of money anyway. Don't... That's, uh, that's a decent amount of money as well. Shame. I'm not a particular fan of the combat as, as a wolf. It's basically knock them over, wait for them to get back up, knock them over again. Which is a shame because the combat um, as a human is fairly solid actually in this game. Fairly solid. Right. Uh, oh, rats. Die. Alright, so we can't go through that way. That's um, that's where we were before, wasn't it? Um, earlier in the game. Ow. Dead? No, not dead. Although, oh yeah, I think if I think if the water kills them. Right. Okay. Oh no! Don't don't shoot at me while I'm up, I'm on the rope. Yeah, the water kills them, look, because that wasn't enough to kill him. Because uh, um, they take two hits. Like, well, two jumping hits. They probably take more than that if you just do a normal hit. Right. I'm not sure if the jump attack as a wolf does double the damage of a normal attack, uh, a normal attack like it does as a human. I'm not 100% sure. Right. Here we go. I love this music, man. How are you guys doing? It's a lovely Saturday afternoon. Ne near Christmas. Hope you guys are all ready for Christmas. Hello, mate. Yeah, look. They take two, don't they? Do they take more? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it does do da double damage, a, a jump attack. Alright, that's cool, guys. That's a good thing to know. Right. Don't shoot at me. There we go. See you later. <laughs> right. I need to sort of rush. Whoa! There we go. See ya. Yeah, we got him before he uh, attacks, that's good. Oh, hello. Luckily the door is open, because we needed Midna to get through uh, when the door was closed, if you remember. Oh, I want to... I want to focus on the other one! Ah... Oh. That target can be a bit of a douche sometimes. There you go, see you later. So, you may remember last time we were here, uh, we had Midna. Uh, it was the first time we'd really met her. She helped us out. And there was one um, There was one particular point that I'm about to get to, and I was like, where's the wind? Why is the wind not helping? And it turned out that we just needed Midna to take us. Uh, we're about to get to that now. I just remember I was remembering this part of the game uh, a little bit early. Because obviously this wind wasn't here last time, uh, like blowing quite as strong. That, that's what we need to see. That's what I was expecting. The wind blows the bridge, as you can see there. That was what I was expecting uh, last time we were here, but I was obviously forgetting that that's from a later part of the game. And it's actually Midna that helps you across there, isn't it? She's quite helpful, actually. She's probably the most helpful um, and interesting of um, Link's companions in the, the 3D Zelda games. She actually, like, she has a function as well as just telling you what to do. 
Here we go. Oh, Mikna. Zelda's lullaby. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one you need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help Mela. So that's the Triforce of Wisdom. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away the darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Faron. There, you will find the Blade of Evil's Bane. That was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. Hey, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. The evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Melar, hero sent by the goddess. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddess. Fine, Mela, you can you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the mirror of twilight? Edna. I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna. I pass it up to you. Now, it's never made entirely clear exactly what it is that Zelda gives to Midna, but I believe it is the Triforce of Wisdom. No! Mela! Stop her! It allows her to exist in the light realm. And there, look. Zelda fades away. She's gone. We go back, Nella. Back to Far On Woods. Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Fair enough. I love how it drops us here. When we literally, the first thing we're going to do... Oh, I see why it does that, of course. I forgot. Shields up! And now we can't go back in until basically the end of the game. Dun dun dun! Ooh, Midna's pissed! And there we go. That was awesome. 
Right, there's no reason to stay here as far as I'm aware, so uh, we can go straight and walk to our next destination, which is... Um... Yeah. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know it's in Faron. I'm pretty sure it's quite close to the Forest Temple, so I think we're quite we're in the right area. Hello, mate. You're gonna talk to me? Oh, I don't, don't want to attack you. I want to talk to you, mate. Here we go. See what you say. Ha! It's rough having to watch a shop in this unpopular part of town. But it's unpopular because you have to go through like a poison area to get here. Hey, monkey's gonna help. Hello, monkey. Oh dear. Oh yeah, Skull Kid. I forgot how annoying Skull Kid is. Did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deep into the woods, those guys attacked me. What in those, well, what's in those woods anyway? Something really cool. Uh, a puzzle that I actually may need to cheat on, actually. Um, I'll try it first. Right, so there's another section of the forest beyond this cliff. All right, Mella, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yay, we've got Midna back. It's really simple, but I actually really like these segments where she's helping you out. Like doing the jumping puzzles, it's fun. Right, we should just be able to run straight across here, I think. And then, oh yeah, we need to go over there. You come back here as a human as well, later in the game. Alright, oh, we've got a tightrope walk. Careful, careful. Uh, here we are, and there's also a um, wolf whistling stone, here we go. What song is that? Do do, do 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 do. Oh, that's the um, prelude of light. Oh, wrong button. I did that wrong. Hold on. Oh, right. There we go. Prelude of light. I'm not that keen on the um, on the howling mechanic, but it's still better than the stupid um, harp mechanic in Skyward Sword. <laughs> Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that after we've got the master sword. Uh, get a couple of... Because there's two now, I think? But I think after we get the master sword, we can teleport anyway. Oh yeah, I was just... I was looking at that and I was like, it's in the river? But no, it's not. It's uh, just south of Castletown. Alright, cool. I think there's another one of these, literally the other side of this tunnel. I always wondered, like, in terms of pacing, why they had, like, none for absolutely ages and then two, like, right next to each other. So here's the Sacred Grove. It's got Sorir's song playing in the background, which is awesome, but also gets a little bit annoying after a while. But yeah, there's... 
Oh, right, this isn't a stone. This is what starts an event. I'm sure there is a stone nearby as well. Anyway, let's... Uh, this is the only time in the game that you actually have to do one of these stones, by the way. It's Zelda's lullaby. Surely it should have been Saria's song. Anyway. I suppose it's, um... It's the Triforce, isn't it, on the stone? No, I, I don't like that. That's so lame. <laughs> right, here we go. Skull Kid. It's obviously not the same Skull Kid, but it's a Skull Kid. It'd have to be hundreds or even thousand years old uh, to be the same Skull Kid. But uh, basically, yes, we have to follow the little shite. these things just follow us around randomly. Let's go. Uh, which way did he go? Oh, did we get all of them? Yeah, we did actually. That was cool. You can sometimes tell by the music. Yeah, you can tell that he's closed because the, uh, the music just sort of went... Here is um, his like thing that he's playing. I don't even know what he's supposed to be playing. There we go. So no, he's at the back of the way that we came. Really hard to tell. Yeah, it's back the way that we came. Right, so we have to basically follow him. Get through here, I think. Am I wrong? Yeah, this doesn't feel right to me. You can just ignore the ads. Hmm. Go away. It has to be this way, surely. This I hate this area. Ah, there he is, Luke. Hello, mate. Right, okay. How do we get up there? Um, ah, I think it's through here. Go away. Get up, get up. Oh, up here, or is that maybe the second time you come? It's offy, offy pops again, deeper into the woods. There's no pole up here, is there? No. But we can jump down here. Uh. Where are you, little shits? Leave me be! Oh, oh, there he is, look. Alright, let's go through here. I just, I saw him just then, but I think he's... Is he up here? I think I'm a little bit early to this particular place. Oh, no, we can come here. Ah, this is it. Alright, okay, cool. Because if you come there early, then it's all blocked off. There we go. Ah! I think we're nearly there. 
We'll end that session there. Thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. You can find me on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Mellar21. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter. It's at Mellar211. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.